Amy. So, Nearly five years on. We're I know. Here at Housing 2022 to relaunch Socha Hour as Socha. How I does know. that feel? Good. I can't believe that I'm still talking to you after five years, but at least SoChat's still here. <laughs> new colours. I know, right? New brand, new colours. Love it. I like the stripped back, but complex nature of it. Yes, edgy, isn't it? <laughs> like you. Yeah. So shared ownership. What? What are we going to talk about in the next 12 months? Well, there's so much to talk about, isn't there? We've got the new model. We've got um, we've got an issues and, and opportunities that are surround that lender debate, legals, development. There's so what else is coming in down the planning pipeline? So first homes, the removal of help to buy. There's loads to talk about. And we're also going to do some lives. We're going to get out and about. So the first one's going to be at Yorkshire Housing. Oh, yes, Nick. Yes, it is. Yeah, no, we will. And that's what we want to do. So I think part of us stripping it back was that we we will still do the Twitter hours and the LinkedIn hours, but just that we want it to be much more than that. We want to have a much more varied bank of content and for to get as many people involved as possible. So blogs, blogs, podcasts, lives, Twitter hours, socials, you name it. TikToks? Is shared ownership ready for TikTok? <laughs> I, I'm not your TikTok girl. <laughs> now listen, so, I, could, I could get someone else to do TikTok. So five years on, we're still talking about shared ownership. Has Socha Hour made a difference? Yeah, I definitely think. I think just by who we've had along today, you know, we've had Gavin Smart, we've had um, Joe Richardson, We've had some real big names come and support us and they continue to support us and have supported us from the beginning. So I think that, yes, it does. I think we've now got to take that foundation that we've built and actually use it a bit more than just a bit of a social get together. I think there's some real insight and intel that we can pull out of SoChat. Um, and I think it's a real um, it's a real ability for us to go kind of real cross industry and get as much intel as we possibly can. Yeah, so if we want, we want guests, don't we? Yeah. To call out, get in touch with us. Yeah. Um, yeah. And come on the podcast and the yeah. live streams and, and talk about shared ownership. Yeah, and I think what I'd like as well, like we've always said, haven't we, that it, we're not going to shy away from those tough debates and questions. So, yes, we want the positive side. We want the stuff that we love and enjoy and, and we want to shout about. But we also want to dig into that, um, into those topics that are a little bit tastier and actually probably a bit more uncomfortable. Um, we want those people that maybe don't think that Socha Hour resonates with them or shared ownership resonates to get in touch and be part of it. Absolutely, that's what we don't want it. We never want it to be an echo chamber. No. We don't want it to be like that. So if there is anyone who wants to come forward, who is against the model, we want to have that yeah, discussion absolutely. with people in shared ownership. Yeah, yeah, we want to get customers on there, but equally people across the housing sector as well that maybe feel that you know shared ownership, do they agree with it, do they not? And actually let's have that d debate as well. Brilliant. Can't wait.